Okay, morning again. Morning. We are now moving on to perimeter. So, have you heard this word before? Yes. Okay, what does it mean? It's written on the board. Um, the length of the outside of a shape or object. Yep, length of an outside of a shape. We, we talk about perimeter for 2D shapes. What are 2D shapes? Shapes that don't go back, like they only have width <coughs> and width. Yep, two dimensions, length and width. So, give me an example of a two dimensional shape, please. A circle, yes. Triangle. A square. A square. So, we all have an idea of 2D objects? Yes, 2D shapes. Rectangle, yes. Hexagon. Hexagon, again, good. So, they can only have two dimensions, they can't have a depth, okay? Now, why do we need to know how to find a perimeter? What would be a real life example of finding perimeter? Yep. When you want a tile with Okay, tile or floor, I would use area, but yes, if you were to figure out how many tiles would fit along the length. Okay. Did you want to find out the perimeter of the house? Why would you need to find the perimeter of the house? Um, to see how, like, where you can put the house in the area. Mixing two things, perimeter and area. Area is our next topic, completely different things. Um, uh, like, say you just built like a footy oval or something, and you need to know the distance around the whole oval. Okay, yep, so if you were running to, track. yep, running track, if you're running around the boundary, you need to know how much or how many kilometers have you ran. If you're building a fence. Uh... Fence, again, yes, so if you were to fence three sides of your house, do you need to calculate how much is that? Or if you had a paddock and you had to fence all four sides, would you be able to find how long, what's the length of the wiring or fencing material needed to actually fence the whole perimeter? So that's why perimeter is important. Again, it's different to area. What's the difference between perimeter and area? Uh, perimeter is the outside and area is like all of it inside. Like okay, what else is different? The whole thing what? Um, perimeter is the sum of the outside area is the length of the boundary. Okay, so perimeter is a length. So length of the outer boundary. For example, for this classroom, the perimeter would be adding the sides together. Area is the surface inside. It's the actual surface. It's not a length. Okay, so we'll talk about area in more detail, but we cannot mix and match. These are completely different things. Now, so now we've discussed what perimeter is. How do we calculate the perimeter of the shape? We know that it's equal to the sum of outer boundaries, so we can just add them. However, if I was to find, again, going back to my nephew, if I'm 22 and my nephew is 22 months, I'm 22 years, my nephew is 24 months. Can I say we're 44 altogether? No. What do we need to do? To convert lengths into the same units. So any measurement into the same units before you can add them or even compare them. Right? Yes? Um, you need to figure out how many of the smaller unit is in the larger unit. Can I do it the other way? Can I figure out how many of the bigger, like what would be the bigger unit in terms of the smaller unit? Yes. Yeah, so you can convert them into one unit, both of them and then find or, or add okay so let's move on so the first step you do is you check if they're in the same units calculate the perimeter kilometers 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 right same units can I add them working out is important don't just do scribbles here and give me the answer no marks done perfect we write perimeter equals so p equals Add them, 8 plus 6 plus 7. What is that equal to? What is 21. No, no. 21 what? Kilometers. Kilometers. Put it in a box. Okay? Is that the perimeter of this shape? What shape is this? Triangle, assuming the sides are straight. This one. Meters. Meters, meters, mm. centimeters. Can I add them? Yeah. So I'll first convert it. What was the conversion from centimeters to meters? Divide by 100. Divide by 100. So it's equal to 5 meters? Yes. Then you write perimeter equals. So start 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 10, which is? Uh, 29. Nice. Now, does it matter which side I write first? Why? Why doesn't it matter? Because in addition, order. Exactly. In addition, order does not matter. 
Okay? So we can add them in any order. Make sense? This one. Now I'm going to put a tick to the sides that we know the lengths of and then find the other sides. So this is given to be 8. This is 2. This is 5. This is 2. This is 3. This is 2. So we're missing this side and this side. How can we figure that out? What should they add up to? So a good observation. So we've got two, this and this. So what's the horizontal uh, width of this shape? Isn't it meant to be eight? Yes. So this plus this plus this should add up to eight. eight. So we've got two plus five, which is seven. seven. So what should this be? One. One. Because the width of the shape is eight. Make sense? And similarly here, what's this vertical thing? Two. Two. Two, three. So as you said, two plus two plus three, isn't that how long the shape is? So what should the length be? Two plus two is four, four plus three is seven. So thank you. Well done. So can we know how to find the missing lengths? Yes. Now, are they all in the same units? Can we stop fidgeting, please? Yes. Can we please stop fidgeting? Can we add now? Perimeter equals. Now, don't just randomly add them because you will lose one, a couple of sides. So start from a side. So 8 plus, move it in order. 2, 5, 2, 1, 3, 2, 7. You should write it in a horizontal line, but I'm going to leave that board. So 8 plus 2, 10, 15, 17, 18, 21, 23, 30. 30 what? Now, which shape is this? It's a rectangle. Now, what's the perimeter? Can I add all sides? Yes. Yeah. Same units? Yes. yes. Now, if I give you a rectangle, but I don't tell you the lengths and widths, I just say this is length and this is width. Can you come up with the formula? We've done formulas, right? What would be the formula for length or uh, for perimeter of a rectangle? Uh, P equals L plus W plus L plus W. Okay, that sounds okay, but yeah, I'll take answers. So can I, if this is L, would this be L as well? Opposite yeah. sides of a rectangle are equal? Yeah. Would this be width? Yeah. So isn't perimeter adding all sides? So adding lengths and adding widths? Yeah. Yes? Rather than adding L twice, can I write it 2 times L? Because if length is 7, so 7 plus 7 is 14, but isn't 2 times 7 14 as well? And rather than adding width twice, can I just say 2 width? Yeah. So that is the formula. We can also write it in factorized form. We can add the lengths and width. So what if I added them together? 7 plus 4, 11. So add them first and then times it by 2. Would that give you the perimeter? Yes. So I'd like you to use the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. Yes. For the second one there, don't you have to put the 2L and the 2W in brackets? If you have 2L and 2W, bracket, brackets are necessary. Okay? Now, let's move on to a square. So this is the formula for a perimeter of a rectangle. What about a square? Are all sides of a square equal? So they're all L? So perimeter, isn't it equal to L plus L plus L plus L? Or can I just multiply the length by 4? Yeah. So that is the shortcut. Okay? So I would expect you to use these shortcuts, the formulas for a perimeter of a rectangle and a square, before any other shape you follow the working out that I've shown. But it is important that you make sure they are all in the same units and we're not doing something we're not supposed to. Is that clear? Any questions regarding perimeter? Get on with your work, so you need to finish uh, 9A and 9B for homework. Get on.